let's take a quick look at how to enroll using the NCVPS registration system. When you first log in, you'll see our news feature that gives just sort of the latest updates and information on what's going on with registration. Uh, if you'll look in the upper right hand uh, portion of the screen, you will see your allotment totals uh, for how much money you have left to register for the semester. So you can click on those to get an idea of that. And you'll see how much money you have left, how much you spent, how much you have left. Uh, but when you first log in uh, each semester, be sure to update your My Info button. Uh, and this has your contact information. Uh, teachers are going to need this as soon as classes begin. So you have two places to enter your email, the top field, and then also confirm it down here with the primary email. Then put in your name and phone number. If you have a lab facilitator, you can put in their contact information. Uh, and if you have someone that you would prefer our teachers to contact on a routine basis when they have questions about a student or want to give you an update, uh, just uh, at, during the enrollment period, uh, just download an enrollment report or you can do a grade report. Copy all of the NCVPS teacher emails in the report. Uh, those would be all the teachers that are teaching your students. And then you can just message them all at once and say uh, preferred contact is this lab facilitator or this counselor. Uh, and they'll be happy to do that for you. So you can also update your password here. Notice there's two different update buttons. Uh, one for your contact information, one for the password. So once you have your inform information correct there, you can go ahead and start enrolling and click on our enrollments button to begin. And you'll uh, see an alphabetical list of courses on this page. Uh, and you can see which semester the course is offered in. Uh, when enrollment opens in the spring, you'll see three different semesters uh, all at once. You'll see summer, uh, fall, and next spring uh, and then you'll also see academic year which would be our year-long courses. So to find a course you can scroll through the pages I think a simpler way is to use the the search box. Uh, so let's uh, let's get a student into a health course here. So I've searched for health and I see now all the options for that. Uh, I have some early start options, uh, spring and fall options. If you click on the semester tab, it will then sort them by semester. So let's get a student into, let's see, let's go here, a second nine weeks course. And from here to enroll, I click the enrollments button next to the course name. Be sure you get your right semester. Uh, you have a lot of options there, so you want to put the student into the correct semester that you want. Uh, click Enroll. And for the health courses, we get a notice uh, just uh, uh, about the course. You'll see that for all of our courses now. If there's any prerequisites or special notices, you'll see this pop-up screen. Click OK on that. Now you'll see a your roster in the Not Enrolled column. Uh, and to enroll a student, you would check the box next to their name and click Enroll. And that's going to move them from the Not Enrolled column over to the Enrolled column. Uh, if a student doesn't have a checkbox next to their name, they're missing some information uh, and you need to double click on their name to add it. Often it's uh, an email address or phone number. Uh, there's a few other required fields that we have. So this student's missing quite a few things, so I'm just going to put in some information here. Uh, anything that has an asterisk by it is a required field. So I need to indicate if the student is an OCS student, has an IEP or 504. Uh, so those are the required fields. Now all of these other fields are greatly appreciated by our teachers. They can really uh, tailor the course for the student the more they know about the student. So if uh, you know they're an ESL student or AIG, uh, just any of these details uh, better help our teacher prepare the course for the student. So once you have all the required things filled in, you can go ahead and click Save Changes. And now you'll see the button I already checked next to Alicia's name there. And I can go ahead and enroll.
You get a little pop-up, are you sure you want to enroll? Okay. And okay there. Now they are both in the enrolled column and you see their status is enrollment pending. So uh, that means they have a secure seat in the course. They've not actually been put into the course yet. That takes about 24 hours to do. Uh, the drop process is the same thing, just reverse. Navigate to the course first that you want to drop a student from, that you already have a student enrolled in. Click on that Enroll button. I'm going to take you back to this screen and just check the box next to any student that you want to remove from the course. It would count as a drop in the first 10 days of the course, meaning it doesn't count in your allotment totals, but after the 10th day, then it counts as a withdrawal. So uh, it still counts in your totals, but there's no sort of grade penalty for the student at all. So go ahead and click Remove, and it takes, you can see the confirmation up here, up top, it takes the student, uh, both students out of the course there. If you want to see a list of all the students that you have enrolled, you can click on the Enrollments tab again. And up at the top, you'll see a list of semesters that you can export your enrollments. Uh, and if you have students enrolled in multiple semesters, you would have to uh, export each one separately. Uh, one good reason to do this is to get the login information for students. Remember, we do not send uh, login details to students. The schools have to give that to students. You can get their username and password uh, from an enrollment report. You can also see who the teacher is for the course, so you can set up a contact list of teachers. Another feature you want to know about is the Reports tab, and here you see all the progress reports and grade reports that we've posted. Uh, so in summer, we post a progress report weekly. Uh, during the uh, fall and spring, we post every two weeks. So this is where you would come to get an update on grades, and you would simply check the button next to the report that you want to run. Uh, you probably just want to run the mini report. The mini report shows all the essential information you need, the grade, the teacher, uh, the SAR data for the teacher, your uh, uh, data person will need that. The full report has uh, probably just information you don't need, like the student's address and home phone number and parent contact and, and all of those things. So uh, the mini report is a bit smaller and it's probably the one that you want there. Okay, so that's a quick look at our registration system. Uh, we have two other enrollment videos, one for, one for our OCS courses and one for our co-teaching intervention courses. The enrollment is slightly different for those courses. Uh, you have to uh, identify who your cooperating classroom teacher is, uh, and then uh, you'll see how to create a section just for your school for those courses. Uh, so look for those uh, videos. You should see a link below uh, from this video. Thank you.